Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to make an app by the name Hello B. Now, we might have seen different kind of honey bees around, right? So, in this app that we are going to make, there we are going to uh, whenever we click on that bee, it is going to make some uh, sound that bee made, like the buzz sound. All right, so let's start. We will start with our very first MIT App Inventor web page. We'll open this and we'll click on this create app option. When I click on this, you will see uh, the list of your projects that you have made till now. So to make a new project, we'll click on projects option and we'll click on start a new project now when we click on that it is going to ask you the name of the project so we'll write hello b and the moment you press ok the name of the project, uh, the project with the name given by you will be created. Now see, this is your screen and the palettes. The very first thing what are we going to do? We are going to insert a button. We will go to the palette option and we are going to uh, insert the button. Click on that, drag and place it here now you can see uh, the button is inserted here and it's written text for button 1 so what are we going to do we are going to first increase the size of this button as of now it is in the one corner of the screen only so we are going to increase the width and height of this button and make it equal to the height and width of the screen so how are we going to do that on the right hand side you will see the option properties in that you will see a different different kind of parameters are given so we click on go to the height option and click on this automatic now in place of automatic we'll click on fill parent and then we click on ok similarly we are going to click on width also and we'll select fill parent and then we press ok now you will see that the size of your screen the button has become equal to the size of your screen now next thing what are we going to do is we are going to insert a picture of a bee so uh, in the component option you will see the screen and button and just below this component there is a media option there you will see the option of upload file to upload the picture of a bee, we have to click on this. Now when I click on this upload file, it is going to ask you to choose it. So I click on that and I will select the picture of the bee and I click on OK. Now see, as you can see here, the name of the picture is shown here. So this means that your picture has been uploaded. Now, how are we going to insert the picture here in our screen? For that, we'll go to the button option and in the properties, under the width option, you will find the image. There, we'll click on the none and whatever picture we have uploaded till now, it will be shown there so we click on that and 
then we press on ok then you will see now the b is visible on your screen but here uh, the text is also visible to remove this text we'll again go to the properties and at the bottom you will see text text or button going we just need to delete it remove it and press enter now your uh, b is inserted and the text is removed so in order to touch the b like we want that whenever we press or touch this b the b should speak so first we need to insert a label I click on label drag and place it here then you need to change what's written here like text for label we don't want we want to remove this and write something else for that we'll go to the properties option again there in the text box we'll remove this content and we'll write touch the b and if you want to increase the size of the text you can do that also uh, we'll go to the font size and in place of 14 you can change it to 30 and press enter see now the font size is increased now what are we going to do next now we are going to insert the sound for the B. To insert the sound, we will go to the palette and we will click on media option. There you will see there is an option of sound. We click on that, drag and insert it on your screen. But you will see that it is not visible here because that is the sound it is a non displaying item so again we need to upload the sound of the bees so from internet you need to download the mp3 format of any b sound and then we click on this upload file then we will click on choose file there wherever you have downloaded this we click on that and we click on ok now it will show you uploading all right see after the uploading is done you will be able to see this in the media option now what you have to do you just have to uh, go in the properties and you will see the option as source click on the none and from there you can select the sound of the bees and click on ok alright yes click on ok then the moment you do this it will be uploaded now our uh, this designing part is over now we'll write the coding part we'll click on blocks and there we'll select our button first now what should happen when we click on button this is what we are going to write the code for so when I click on button, you will see when button 1 click do. I am going to click on that and insert it here. Then what should happen? There should be a sound of the B. So I click on sound 1 and I add call sound 1 dot play. We will insert it here. Alright. So this is it then uh, if you want to check your code or check your app uh, you are having multiple options 
that is either you can download mit app inventor on your phone from play store and then we click on connect option and then ai companion when i click on this you will see there is a qr code that gets visible on your screen so from your phones you will open mit app inventor and there you will scan this code once you scan this code it will automatically gets connected and you will be able to see the b then touch that b and you will see you will hear some kind of sound or if you don't want to use mit app inventor you don't you want to create your own app and install it in your phone for that you will click on build and then you will click on android app when you click on that then there will be a progress bar that gets visible on your screen and whatever code whatever design you have made in your project that gets start compiling after that what will happen when whatever like the code and all everything gets compiled up uh, it is going to take some time for compiling don't worry and it's uh, it is also showing here please wait then now you will get two options that either you can download your app now or you can scan the qr code on your phone and the app will get downloaded then you can install this and run on your phone all right so that was it for hello b app try to create your own app like this or you can do some modification according to you all right so that is all for this video thank you